Well, I knew I was going to have to get around to January eventually, so might as well. January was not a good month. There were videos that were terrible, some that were bad, and some were actually kind of decent, almost good. So, with that out of the way, let's begin. Junior Kidnaps Penelope is not a good way to start off the year. Junior was unbearable and annoying. He is acting like a spoiled brat and just wants to get back with Penelope after he cheated on her in the last few videos, so what makes him think that he is a good partner? The filler scene with Cody was, of course, the one of the many negatives. Junior getting away at the end, literally committing a federal crime and blaming it on Bully. But there were good parts, like Bully was pretty good, Joseph was good, I did like Shapipi, and that was really it, honestly. 3 out of 10, it could be better. The Golden Nugget was actually really good. Some scenes dragged, yet... Yeah, yeah, but like the casino scene and the 80 for Brady scene, really, I've not watched 80 for Brady, so I can't give my full thoughts on it, but apparently they say it sucks, so I guess I'll have to take their word for it. It does look kind of corny. Ronald was, of course, hilarious. I liked Wendy's costume. Ronald, of course, was funny. I think I said that already. Whoops. Brooklyn Guy and Marvin were both hilarious. I did like Ronald choking Brooklyn Guy. <laughs> that was funny. And I did like the fight scene with Ronald and Burger King at the end. I didn't really like Jeff and Rose. And there were some scenes and filler that didn't really need to be there. It's, however, it's a 6 out of 10. Jeffy's Club is the best video of this month. But honestly, that doesn't mean it's the best of this year. It's like a 6.5 out of 10. I didn't really like the beginning with the adults, but when it starts getting into the actual Jeppy Club segment, it starts to get good. Like Bully becoming the security guard, Jeffy running the place, the bubble machines, everything was actually pretty good. I didn't really like the ending because it was proof that Brooklyn Guy has started to become immature and childish, but that's really my only kind of complaint. Okay, this idea has, and video is really creative. Brooklyn guy being able to read minds because, because not only does he have every job in the world, he suffers probably the most. Well, debatable. I mean, I did like Jonathan's thoughts of hi of him trying to get with Brooklyn's wife. I did like Brooklyn guy at court, and I also really liked Crush here. That was funny, but there were th kind of a few things I didn't like. Like the damn Macho Man joke. That got old fast. And it's just alright. It's a 5 out of 10. Good, but not the best. The tornado was really, really boring. I did like the beginning, but that was the only other good part. Jackie Chu was of course hilarious in the school scene. The part where Cody and Junior call Shep Pee and his mom were actually kind of funny. And there were some, of course, cons. But, uh, but I forgot to mention that the Twister scene was also hilarious. The cons were that this video was rushed and the abrupt ending, Super D was unfortunately back, and of course the awful characters and filler. Jeffy attacks the judge. I apparently did not know this actually happened, so of course it's another Loked milking a trending topic video. And it's not that good. Jeffy was kinda funny, especially when he attacked the judge. And Mario was also kinda funny. Same with Pooby and Anthony Judge. I said that so wrong. But it's really it. The Nintendo thing didn't need to be here. It's good, passable maybe, but it did not need to be there. But Brooklyn Guy was also kinda filler. I did not like the fourth wall breaks. Seriously, meta humor does not really make me happy. It's like a 3.5. Oh boy, Cody's Hot Dog Restaurant! Oh boy, I get to talk about this one! But I want to make this kind of short so that way I don't feel like I'm rambling on for too long. It's a 4.5 out of 10. There were some funny characters and moments like Brooklyn Guy, Joseph Simmons and Jr. And Chef Pee, Pee was kind of funny. Steve was also kind of hilarious. 
But that, those are only the minor parts of this video. The entire thing is just Timmy and Cody being gay for 12 whole minutes uninterrupted. And it's not funny in the slightest. It's an unfunnier version of Dick and Boss from South Park and Chef Pee Pee's Restaurant mixed. And then you get this monstrosity. Seriously, this did not really need to be a video. Okay, I had some good reputation for this one. I had. But it's not really good. Jeffy and Rose, of course, were not the best things in this video. Goodman was actually kind of funny because he's Goodman. So usually his humor is, from time to time, good or bad. The, the, there were some pretty filler scenes, like the hospital scene, which kind of dragged a bit for a little long, but not too long, where it's like, it's filler, but it's not too long. But it's not too short, either. There were some, like, like the s Fuck! I can't talk! The hospital scene with Barb being in the picture, I did not care for that one. The criminal that Goodman hired, Goober, I believe his name was, was absolutely hilarious. I like how he accidentally shot himself instead, which was kind of funny, because I didn't really see that coming. I kind of wanted him to miss. And the ending proved, of course, the video was pointless, but I did not hate this video. Kinda. Another 4 out of 10, honestly. Oh boy, the rigged game. This one was dumb and boring. 2 out of 10. It was just filler and excuse for Logan and Chris to talk about Tom Brady and Jimmy Butler. The one thing I can like. Well, two things. Goodman was funny, like the casino scene earlier. And of course, the way that they were going to rig the, the ways they were going to rig the game was actually kind of creative. The stakeout was kind of mediocre, but it was a bit good too. It had a few characters that were actually funny, like Brooklyn, of course, Crush, Simmons, Tyrone, and some other and some other characters. The ending was absolutely disgusting. I nearly puked. Like I actually almost nearly puked during that. And I had, like, a soda in my mouth, so that was great. But, the, there were another, there was another scene about Brooklyn Guy and another character arguing, and that went on for a bit longer than I thought. But I didn't like the location. Also, can we not just say that the Hank calling Mario scene was pointless? Alright, we're almost through this month. Stinking... Nah, this, that, no, nah, this fucking sucked. 2 out of 10. That has some unfunny jokes, breaking character, filler, fourth wall breaks, and that was it. Well, I misspelled Goodman as Hoodman. Joseph and Goodman were the only good characters here, and the entire thing from start to finish was annoying. This also proves that Logan has like a gross humor liking. I think he prefers more gross-out humor than anything else. Hmm, it's like I'm noticing a pattern here. We're almost through this month. Please. Two videos left. Jeffy's Mad Cow Disease. Okay, I will be honest. I did not know what Mad Cow Disease was, so I was just kind of confused throughout this entire thing. But that doesn't mean I liked it. It, it, it was bad. It was kind of bad. Not even Ronald and Steve could save it. Because they kind of dragged it out a bit too long. But it does show. We need more episodes with Ronald and Steve. They are one of the most funniest duos ever. Ronald and Steve have both contrasting personalities and appearances. So it works. There were quite a bit of filler scenes. Like such as the conference meeting. The press conference thing I mean. The phone call with Ronald and Steve, even though it was kind of funny. And, of course, the couch scenes. And I did not really like the Nintendo animation. Pointless again. Alright, the final video of this month. Another 2 out of 10. First of all, it was just kind of frustrating. And, of course, I did not really like the beginning. It Like, the very few seconds. 
Uh, Cody riding the bike was kind of cool, but of course, Logan can't be bothered to retake a scene because his cat interrupted it. <sighs> that pisses me off. I also didn't really care about Junior and Penelope's relationship. They were clearly not meant to be at all. And this also feels like something specifically happened to Logan. I'm not saying it did, but it feels like it. Also, the whole water tower thing, I did not care. I really did not care about this at all. It just please stop, Logan. Oh my god. We are finally through this month. Jesus. Uh, Alright, I might as well do this kind of thing. Out of the total 13 videos, I will have to give a score of 49.5 out of 130. Or that's like a 4.5 out of 13. Not a good average, it seems. The best video of the month has got to be Jeffy's Club. I mean, this one isn't great, but it's still good. They had some funny scenes, great characters, and all that other stuff. The worst has got to be stinking. Definitely not a good way to, not, definitely not a good video to have at all. Well, that's really it. I'll see you guys in the next month or so with February. And bye.